In this lesson, we're going to be reading data from a sheet. So looping through all of the rows, outputting each row individually. So that's what we've got here. I'm showing you how you can use the get data range in order to dynamically adjust the range that you're accessing from the spreadsheet in order to get all the available data within the spreadsheet and then also outputting the data from the spreadsheet within an array. So that's all coming up in this lesson. This is going to be using a bound script where we're going to be reading data from a Google Sheet. So let's go ahead and we're going to create the function and the function that we're going to call is uh, just going to be called read data. And what it will do is it's going to connect to whatever the active sheet is. So let's select the sheet object. And this is the spreadsheet that it's uh, bound to. And what we want to do is we want to get the sheet contents. So selecting the spreadsheet app, and then we're getting that active sheet object. So this is whatever sheet is currently active in the opened spreadsheet. And select the data. So we want to select a range for the data. And we can use this by selecting the sheet object and then the get data range. And what that will do is that will select all of the available data and place it within the range. So build the entire range. So you can also specify the row and the column that you want to start with, how many rows and columns you want to go in order to get the range, or you can use the get range data. And in this case, what that will do is that's going to select all of the available sheets. So if you did have another column, where you had another column of values. So that would then become the range that's being selected. So as that gets updated, it'll dynamically select whatever range is available. In order to get the data, we can then use the data range object that we selected and get the values. And this is gonna produce uh, an array within an array of all of the values. And let's uh, log out the data within the log. So we can take a look at what we've got for the output. So select the function that we've just created and let's uh, run the function. We need to accept permissions because it's uh, accessing the app service where we can edit, create, delete uh, content from our Google Sheets, from our spreadsheets. And there's the output of the content and notice that it's being output within a multi-dimensional array. So each row is its own array and then the number of items within the main array are going to be how many how many rows there are and each item within the rows is represented within the columns so the spreadsheet uses the spreadsheet app class to read the data from the google sheet and then we get the active sheet so whatever the active sheet currently is that's the method that we get the sheet and then we get the data from the sheet and output it within the logger. And of course you can do as needed. You can also, because this is going to be an array, you can use the for each and we can output each individual row individually. So this will return back a row of values and you can use all of the different array methods that are available within JavaScript. And then in order to output the contents of the row, let's uh, select those row values and output those separately. So now when we run it, we get the content from each row. And notice because we added in another item there within the range, it is selecting that. It's just blank within the array contents. And these rows will actually have a length of all four items that we, that we have within the row. So even though these are blank, they're still counted because we did select it within the data range. If we were to get rid of the queue and we run it again, the length is now going to be three because the data range changed. And that's one of the advantages of using the get data range.